That doesn't sound good at all. Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and I'm doing another foundation review video. I am really excited about this. Um, I love the foundation that I typically use. It is the BB Flawless uh, BB Cream in the shade Cream and it does wonders for my skin. It's moisturizing. I love it. It's absolutely gorgeous. However, I am just really curious if there is another foundation out there that is gonna work just as well, if not better. And today I am using the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Defined Foundation, and I think I got it, it was $12 at Ulta, and right now they're having a buy two, get one free sale on Makeup Revolution, so hopefully I get that up before it's gone. And I will be honest, I've heard some really good reviews about this product and I, my expectations are through the roof and I kind of hate that because I feel like I should go into this with biasness, but I kind of am not, so sorry. <laughs> but all right, I will show you guys the applicator. It is a very large doe foot Ooh, and it's also like falling apart. Um, not falling apart. It was dripping. The applicator that it comes with, it's a very large doe foot applicator. I did get it in F1, which is the lightest shade next to the shade white, um, because I am very pale. It is a creamy liquid foundation. It's not very thick. It's not very thin. You do get 0.8 fluid ounces in it, which is a little bit less than the standard one uh, whole fluid ounce of foundation that you typically get in a foundation bottle. I already am wearing this foundation right now. I just put it on and I'm gonna kind of put it through the test uh, to see how it does throughout the day slash evening. So please stay tuned to see how this foundation works and let me know if there are any other foundations that you guys would like me to try in the future. Um, so yeah, let's go back in time and you can see how this product looked when it was going on to my face. So yeah, I have already washed my face. I've already moisturized it. I have primed it. I have used the No Problem Primer, which I got in my BoxyCharm box. Now I do have an actual full face set of products of Makeup Revolution to put to the test, but I wanted to do this foundation in a separate video simply because I mean, I feel like if your face is going to fall apart and products are not going to work, I feel like it starts at the foundation. So I wanna test the foundation separately and then do the full face in a separate video. I'm a little bit confused. I'm looking this product up on my phone and it is Revolution Beauty London. However, I've always heard people refer to it as Makeup Revolution. On the container, it does actually say Makeup Revolution underneath the word revolution. So. Is the company Revolution or is it Makeup Revolution? Okay, the website says revolutionbeauty.com. So is this, is this right? Is this like a Mandela effect? I'm so confused. This is what the website says about this product. It's, it claims that it is ageless, unisex, affordable, and yours, offering a lightweight yet buildable coverage in 24 skin true shades, which isn't the most diverse range of shades. However, it is double the Soap and Glory foundation that I used in my last foundation wear test, but it doesn't obviously have, I think it's like the 60 or 50 shades that Morphe has, or the 50 or 60 shades that the new Tarte foundation has. But 24 is better than 12, I will give them that. This versatile foundation is designed to suit every skin type and tone with an oil-free yet creamy and comfortable formula that dries down to a long-lasting demi matte finish. It won't settle into fine lines or cling to dry patches. It is also vegan, cruelty-free, paraben-free, and oil-free. Finish with a setting powder and fixing spray to, to lock your makeup in. I got mine in the shade F0.1. It is for the fairest skin tones with a pink undertone. Um, the next one down is pure white. And then, yeah, so I have the lightest shade that you can get that's not white. So surprise, surprise, that's how it always goes for me. It does have a 0.8 fluid ounces, so it is just slightly less than the traditional fluid ounce portion that most foundations come in. The bottle is amazing. The packaging is really nice. I really do like this packaging, even though I really do feel like it might be a Mandela effect. I don't understand the Revolution Makeup Revolution London. I don't know, that's confusing to me. Please comment down below if I'm losing my mind or if I've just been calling this company the wrong name this whole time. But let's get this on my face. 
get my headband on so I don't get any stray hairs in this. I'm just gonna apply it straight to my face, I guess. Oh, do you guys hear that? That doesn't sound good at all. Honestly, I'm trying out the Better Than Sex mascara today, so I guess it's appropriate. Hopefully this doesn't dry down too fast. I don't know how much to use, so I guess I'm gonna use a lot. <laughs> that sounds logical. Oh, I can't get over that sound. Let's blend this out. It does seem slightly light. Ooh, I may have used way too much. It seems like a little bit goes a long way. Mm, let me see what the coverage is doing. It does look pretty full coverage so far. It's blending really smoothly. I guess the test is my pores. Uh, maybe I got it in too light of a shade. I don't know, it does match my neck. I don't think it's really showing off much skin texture. I would say it's a high, medium, to almost a full coverage. I can still see a few of my freckles. I can still see a few of my pores. It's not really clinging to my fine lines and my skin te texture, which is something I was a little bit afraid that it would do. I actually really like this foundation. It looks really nice. I guess we're gonna see how it performs during the wear test, but it is very comfortable like it claims to be. I am gonna put just a slight bit more um, on the sides of my nose because of my pores. Ooh, it dries down really nice. Like it doesn't stay tacky. I don't feel like this is necessarily a foundation that you need to set. Now I have oily skin, so we'll see if that's true or not. I thought I got I thought I got foundation on my pink sweatshirt. Pink as in Victoria's Secret, not pink as in like the color. I'm not colorblind. This is pink. This is not. I feel like just that second layer kind of like spot building worked really well. The time is 3.26, uh, which I know feels pretty late to be trying and testing this foundation. However, I have a lot to do today, including baseball practice. So yeah, I'm going to go finish the rest of my makeup and I will check in in a few minutes to let you know how things blended out, how things are feeling. But I will see you guys soon. Okay, you guys, I am finally back, done with my makeup. Uh, it is now, where did I lose? Oh, I'm watching Shane Dawson. So, well, I was watching Tana Mojo and now I'm watching Shane Dawson. And I also had my other video to film. It is now 4.53, so this has been on my face for close to an hour and a half. And I did, like I said, go ahead and do my makeup. I did uh, spray it with a setting spray. I have to say, for a first impression with it on my face, I'm in love. Honestly, I'm in love. The, excuse me, the foundation is very comfortable. It does not feel cakey or thick. I barely had to do the lightest dusting of setting powder just where I put my concealer. I did not set my face anywhere else and I don't see much creasing. I don't see it showing off a texture. Uh, yeah, so for reference, I am 36 years old. I turn th 37 next month and I do have fine lines and wrinkles and I do feel like uh, foundation can sometimes kind of make my face look more textured than what it actually is but this is going very well. I really do like this foundation so far and I don't know if it's too early to say it or not, but this might be one of my favorite foundations to try so far. And it costs $12, you guys. I bought it at Ulta for $12. 
I hate to like jinx myself and then have this turn into a really bad foundation, but fingers crossed, I think I might have found a new foundation that makes my skin look really good and not make me look old, dry, and textured. That sounds so sad. I'm going to put this foundation to the test over the next several hours and I will check back in to let you guys know how I feel about it throughout the day. But as of right now, I have to give it a two thumbs up. Hey you guys, so I really messed up when I was doing my check-ins. Uh, I recorded all of my check-ins, but when I went to go and edit the video, I guess I somehow deleted the check-ins from my camera or it didn't transfer from my camera to my computer and I really liked my first impression of using the Make Revolution uh, foundation so I decided I was going to go ahead and keep that part of the video but then I have been wearing that foundation every single day since I made that video so I think I'm like on day four I believe and honestly I can't like have a first impression with my check-ins anymore because I've been wearing it so much but I love that foundation and I've got it on my face right now so today I am going to be doing check-ins periodically it's been on my face for about two hours I think it looks pretty good so far um, I did kind of cake it around my nose so that's my fault I feel like it's not going around my nose the best in the corner and so I've just kind of been like caking it on like crazy but so I've had it on for about two hours and uh, I'm in harsh lighting right now I'm in my bathroom lighting, which is really bad, and so I don't look very good. It's not flattering at all. Uh, but today's kind of a big day. My son turned 18, and I'm trying to process that. But then I also have to go to therapy and med clinic. So I'm going to be on the road a lot, which I always rub my face a lot when I'm driving. Then I'm going to be crying because my son is 18, and I always cry at therapy, and I always cry at med one. Med one? Med clinic. Why did I say med one? But yeah, so I'm still going to be doing my check-ins today, but I just wanted to let you guys know that it is on my face, and I am loving it, but I do look very different than I did in the video simply because, yeah, either I messed up, or electronics messed up, or, you know... I don't know. I don't know what happened, but so we're going to redo it. All right. I'm going to go. Uh, I will check in probably after therapy because it'll be a couple or a couple or I cannot speak today. It'll be a couple more hours um, until I get through therapy. So I will see you guys later. Okay, you guys. So it is check-in time. Um, it is currently a time that I don't know what it is. It is currently, it is currently 2-12. And this has been on my face for several hours now. Let me think. I think four and a half. I don't know. But it's looking really good. And I'm actually in natural lighting. And you guys, I just went to my med clinic appointment and bawled my eyes out. So I don't see any like tear streaks. I'm looking at my viewfinder. So sorry. <laughs> but I don't see any like tear streaks or where it's breaking up at all. Um, it's looking a little clumpy around the creases of my nose and then my nose ring hole i'm missing a nose ring because i lost it but yeah other than that though i think it's looking really good it's honestly holding up better than my lipstick which i need to touch up so yeah that's my update so far i will see you guys in a little bit all right i'm doing another check-in this has now been on my face for about eight hours i don't know if you guys can see i'm not really creasing at all like around my eyes um, maybe just a slight bit, but that honestly could be because of, um, my concealer. My cat is eating her cat food on the sink with me, so <laughs> excuse her. I am in the bathroom again, so again, harsh overhead lighting, but I don't see textures. Like, I do see, like, my normal, um like creasing and fine lines that I typically have. But I mean, that's just, that's just my face. The foundation doesn't look like it's like building up inside of it though. It's not sinking in. It's just, you know, my face naturally has fine lines. I don't get Botox, but I, I don't see it like making a weird texture. Okay. It is kind of like set up a little bit right there. Yeah, and right there. So that's kind of like where there's a little bit of a buildup, but it's not set up in my pores. 
honestly, you really still can't even see my pores. So I'm just still really impressed. So this has been on for about eight hours. It's probably gonna be on nine, 10, 11, 12. It's probably gonna be on like another four hours. So I'm probably just gonna come and do a final check-in. But so far, uh, my highlight did kind of, oh no, it didn't, it's still there. Okay, I thought maybe my highlight disappeared, but no, it's still there. Um, everything else is kind of stay put. I don't have any issues at all. I haven't had any transfer on my hoodie. I didn't have any transfer on my coat. Um, I don't know. This is a really good experience so far with the Makeup Revolution foundation. Hopefully, you know, it'll stay put for another four hours because I think by then it should be on my face for about 12 hours. I have cried. I have laughed. <laughs> um... I have frozen my butt off outside. I have driven for multiple hours. Um, I've taken a nap. So I've been through a lot. My face has been through a lot and it's still, you know, hanging on there. It's still being a champ. So we'll see what happens in a couple of hours. Okay, so this is gonna be my final check-in for this foundation. Um, <laughs> first of all, I apologize because I was just crying about the fact that my son turned 18 and, um, I don't know how to deal with that. <laughs> uh, so I figure now that I've wiped my tears off my face, it's probably a good time to finish this up so that I can wipe all this off and go to bed. But so this has been on my face for about 12 hours. And honestly, sorry, the heat's been on. Um, I don't know what you guys are seeing. Uh, so this is what my face is doing and honestly I have to say as a 36 almost 37 year old who is the mother of an 18 year old I don't feel like this foundation is bad at all I really do like it I think it is it is a great product and like I said I've been wearing this for several days since my last uh, trial kind of flopped um, because I lost footage but I really really like this you guys should check it out $12 totally worth it um, final review I would say definitely two thumbs up I will be purchasing this again in the future I will probably be wearing this I don't think that that came out right I will probably be wearing this a lot in the future I like it you guys give me your opinions down below thank you guys so much for watching this video please give it a thumbs up please make sure to subscribe and you know if there's a foundation that you want me to try especially if you're somebody who's a little bit on the less ripe side of ages or wait maybe too ripe side of ages I don't know I don't know just listen if there's a foundation you want me to try let me know down in the comments I think I have it uh, cosmetics CC cream that I'm gonna be trying I also have Maybelline no not Maybelline they're not curly free um, wet and wild I really don't want to try that one because it smells like paint um, and then my daughter's L'Oreal foundation I think I have one more I don't know, but you guys, let me know down below. Thank you so much. I will see you guys in my next video. So have a great night.